Oh, okay. cool. All right. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Not um, not tonight though. Sure. Okay. okay. If that's okay. Yeah. Well, you call the shot, so yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, the boss. You're, you're catching on, Zazel, and yeah, I love it. I learned. I've learned. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the daughter house. Pretty, yeah. pretty, pretty soon it's going to be Zazel, who? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyway. Listen up, Megan. Welcome to the slaughterhouse. All right. I'll bring on. I'll bring on Nick. We can introduce you to Nick from AFI. AFI is the Australian exclusive place in Australia where you can pick up Action Force. Uh, we've lost uh, Space Command. I swear they're not the same person. Uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. This is Switch. Nick. Oh, there welcome he is. to the Slaughterhouse. He's got it. He's, got it. He's loving it too. He's, He's cuddling it. it. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, whoa. you're on the He's air. Not- Come on down. Naila, you didn't tell me Charge was going to be on. On the slaughterhouse. Nate, you never know who you're going to see at the slaughterhouse. Bro, you I'm never know. Um, you never what know. The, what the? You didn't. What the? No. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> I love hang it. Hang on a second. Hang on, hang on. There you go. <clears throat> so. Do you need to go to the bathroom too like <laughs> Zazel did? <laughs> you stopped dobbing me in, Kelly. <laughs> um, I was already excited about meeting your daughter, but meeting the man? Oh, there we go. You got a twofer. Well, it's nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah. Hi. Nick. So How you doing? doing? Ken from Toy to Connection. Good to be one big happy family here. I'm That's right. Sorry, guys. I'm very rarely am I lost for words. I'll be honest with you. If you haven't seen one of my live auctions, I don't shut up. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, <laughs> I... I <laughs> I, I met Kobe Bryant. I've met Michael Jordan, but I'm talking to Sarge. That's ridiculous. There you go. That's, Thank you. Well, that's, that's quite like, an honor. Those guys are here. You are here. I, I'm yeah. done. You guys have a good day. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 nice meeting you. <laughs> well, you know what? I am very proud to have one of the best. Like, that's sick. I have literally, I haven't had, even had a chance to open up and play with it yet. Wow. But um, I looked at it and I went, that is so Sarge. It is like literally yeah. the, one of the – Bobby done very well. Okay. Yeah. Very, very well with this line. And I think Agreed. he captured you it's completely. One of the, the better ones I've ever seen. Uh, Valiverse hit it right on the nose. He did. Like, I mean, I, all the rest of the fans here in Australia went nuts for him. I mean, I sell, I send and sell Zalen a lot of Sarge stuff. A lot. Yeah. He never gets my name right, though. Yeah, I know. I just saw him, Zal. <laughs> the P-Man. Well, you know, we also showed him this one. I tried to get those, and we couldn't yeah. get them in Australia. It's on who you know. I know. Well, <laughs> look, I think you've got more connections. <laughs> <with Australia. laughs> just quietly, I think. Maybe. I need to reconcile that with yeah. my therapist. I, I wasn't able to. And I'm trying to collect everything Sergeant Slaughter. So to be told that I literally cannot have something just really, I don't, yeah, yeah. it hit me hard. But, well, Zazel, uh, Nick, yeah, right. oh, sorry. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me, let me right, introduce sorry. Nick to everybody first. Yeah. He's obviously starstruck by Kelly. Yeah. So we'll just uh, continue on with the, <laughs> uh, with the introductions. Nick, this is Ken from Toy Connections. This is my brother. I'm, I'm going, I don't know if anyone's seeing the same uh, circle that I'm seeing, but I'm going in a circle here. We've yeah. got uh, Todd, my brother, uh, who also does the Yo Bros with me. I've got Yo Space Bros. Commander, Sorry. Space Commander coming up. Uh, well, beaming a beaming a signal down from the space station. We have, uh, I mean, we got Sorted Daughter, the badass bitch, and uh, she's she's got a dad <laughs> tag along. Believe yeah, it or not, yeah, that's some gun. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Got dude. an old man to tag along. Yeah. Got my shirt on. Well, look, you know yeah. what? I feel Sorry. honored to be in this company, that's for sure. Well, we got to do a uh, full force. Yes. Full force. <laughs> full force. Full force. <laughs> it's time for action. Man, I still can't believe you're on the. I just, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can't I'm going to need a few minutes. I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm just like... I'm here every time, mate. I don't know why you're when so I, starstruck. When I read the contract, how much I was getting paid, I'm surprised I'm still here. 
<laughs> you're the biggest slaughter fan yeah. in the world. Like, I just like I was getting primed to say hello to his daughter. I was like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna meet. Oh yeah, I'll was get that? out of the way. Got a full sleeve too. Oh yeah, I do. I wasn't allowed to get a tattoo. I'm Greek. My grandmother would have killed me. <laughs> just the rules. They're just the rules. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've never been one to let anyone tell me what to do. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's> like, <laughs> I can see your that. Your body. Mm. No line there. I like it. But yeah, you guys will have to come to Australia one day. I'd love to come back. The only thing is, I'm a little scared of the animals and insects you have there. <laughs> yeah, drop bears. They're yeah, scary yeah. here. <laughs> Look, what we'll do is the, the three bits. of us will get together and surround you so they won't come nowhere near them. We got kangaroos <laughs> that come down the street. It's fine. Like we we've got the talk, so we're good. If you've seen Maybe. Dot and the kangaroo, you you're fine. It's I in the pouch. Dot you can like just jump around, yeah. have a good time. Yes, I love Dot and the kangaroo. Do you remember how much I used to watch that oh, movie? Yeah. 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 I did. We have it on beta. I believe so. Yeah. I'm historically beta. accurate yeah 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 it's basically a documentary it. of australia it definitely freaks you out when you wake up in the morning where i'm in port macquarie my old place and there was a big door and you wake up you pull the curtains back and there's like a i'm not sure what you know what a big red is they're probably the biggest kangaroos that we have in oh, australia, wow. the most dangerous and it's just sitting there like this gum <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> and it's just staring at you like it knows you there yeah. And it knows it can't get to you, and you're like this far away through glass, and you just slowly. That's step amazing. Back. Those things have muscles on muscles on muscles. Oh yeah, yeah. It is See, like the I most like, built animal ever. I love animals, so I always say I'd be the idiot trying to pet the bear. That's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'd be like, oh, I want to just rub his head. That, I mean, I would granted, be the, the dummy. Sarge the would take down. The stupid American man. getting killed by the kangaroo. Hey, Sarge, still take the big red down. I got you back. I... <laughs> Fine. You got that. Most of, most of my images of kangaroos were all animated when I was a little boy. Mm, well, let me tell you, they get tall. I don't know yeah, if they yeah. get as tall as you, but they definitely get taller than me. Yeah. I didn't know. Oh, you know what we should do, Sarge? We should do a shout out to Wayne. Wayne Maddie. Yeah. Who yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. in the Young Rock series. Wayne Maddie. Yes. Yeah. Wayne. Hey, Wayne. New season next hey, Wayne. Wayne. New season next month. Yes. Party on, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. We'll all do the headbanging keep, scene keep from sending uh, me that script so I can okay it before the rock right. uh, makes you say those things. <laughs> well, he actually he said that he would like to do the Iraqi sympathizer Sarge in a, in another season yeah. if they ever let him. Um, yep. And we're trying to petition for him to play Sarge in the Action Force movie. Uh, yes. If you can't, if you can't do it, then he can wonderful. do it. Yeah. I, I even said it on a video. I'm like, I would love to lobby for, for uh, yeah. Wayne to play Sarge in a live action. Yeah. I'll, I'll dedicate this episode to Wayne and the General and to Mark Potter, those, uh, those three legends. Yeah. Uh, I'll let yeah. them know to, to watch out. We also oh, uh, we also want to dedicate the show to Kelly's dog. She lost her dog. Right. Yeah. 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 We heard that last night. We were we were on Kelly's side last night, having a couple oh, of drinks yeah. and a couple of yeah. chats, trying to cheer her up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you guys did. Thank you. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah, anytime such a good you need laugh. us. Anytime yeah. you need us, we're here. Yeah. yeah. Right. Just just reach out. Right. Thank you. I think I've created a monster with Wayne, though, because I started sending him, you know, emails as a Sarge, and right. he was enjoying those. And then pretty soon, I sent him a T-shirt, and he sent me Campaign some posters, color. and uh, we sent each other photos. And I sent him an act uh, campaign cover. Right. I, I, I took him over the top on that one. Yeah, I think so. I, I actually, <laughs> I actually took one of my insignias out of my own hat and yes. put it in his hat. So it's got part of me in it. And the chin strap. And the chin strap yes, also. Yes, true. He was very proud of that. He was very proud. He shared a, an image of it on Instagram. And as I was scrolling through Instagram, um, I, I went past it and I thought, oh, there's a picture of Sarge. And then I, I, I scrolled back down again so I could have a look at it. And I was like, that's Wayne. 
but he, yeah, he yeah. totally pulled off the look. It looked great yeah. in it. And yeah, yeah he, he displayed it proudly. Uh, talked about it fondly as well. So he's, yeah, he's, he's what I proud. he was a, he was what I wanted to look like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a tall guy too. I didn't realize yeah. I was short until I was standing next to him. And I was like, oh, hello. <laughs> yeah. He's way up I, there. I give those guys a lot of credit, the dedication to look like that. I mean, I know yes. he's young yet, but the people in my business, uh, they, you know. I don't know how they, where they find the time to do it, especially Mr. McMahon. I mean, you won't believe what he, he, he does in a day just to work out. He works out at night, like three in the morning. That's when he works out. Yeah. Yeah. When we it's first like, saw his arms, has, um, like I was surprised. It. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's your dedication. Dedicated. To, yeah. yeah. Dedicated. Mm -hmm. So we were, okay, we were telling up. everybody before you came on, uh, that I didn't realize that I created a uh, a drinking uh, organization here. <laughs> that uh, <laughs> the Saturday nights are uh, party time, and so but I, it's Saturday, it's Sunday morning for them. And yeah, this is Sunday morning. What time yeah. is it for you in space there, Space Commander? It's always party time, right? That's what just well, to say. the uh, the time. space station. Yes, yeah. <laughs> party all the time. But uh, yeah, the the space station is in a geosynchronous orbit. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're in orbit over the northern hemisphere, directly over the UK, um, and it's just come. It's just gone two o'clock in the morning here, so it's now oh, officially my Sunday. Oh, we, nice. were, we were also we were also uh, <laughs> cheering, and we forgot to mention that what we did the last cheer was the thousand one thousand episode. No, so, uh, subscribers. Subscriber, subscriber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big deal. Uh, so cheers again. Uh, yep, cheers, <laughs> yeah, again. Cheers, cheers. cheers again. Cheers. Cheers. Congratulations, you guys. So I only got water because I was live last night till like 1.30 this morning on an oh, okay. uh, I do live yeah, auction. Make so story. I'm, I'm like this. You can still cheers water, mate. It's a I'm cheers. Cheering water. Yeah. yeah. A cheers is yeah. a cheers. It's a cheers is cheers. a cheers. That's right. right. Yeah, we got to give away the slaughter do. figure. That's what we got to do. We got to give someone a slaughter figure. Right, yes. Right, yes. Doing a giveaway. Are so, you doing a uh, giveaway? AFI Live is going to do a giveaway for Action Force. I do want to say, though, while we're touching on the subject, uh, and I touched on it a little earlier, but while we're talking about the 1,000 subscribers, um, that that is a big deal. It's a lot of people that, that came to the Slaughterhouse to watch Sergeant Slaughter specific clips. Um, and, I, and I really only put the channel together so that I personally had somewhere to go and find all these Sergeant Slaughter clips. And so the fact that people are now tuning into this show, welcome to the Slaughterhouse and uh, enjoying the content, uh, you know, that as we've expanded, including the uh, Slaughterhouse Wrestling Championship, I couldn't do it without them. And I appreciate the fact that they do tune in uh, and I couldn't do it without you guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't think I'd want to either. So thank you everyone that's watching and thank you everybody that's here. Uh, Sarge, this is your first time, but I'll give you a thanks anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Might as well. I mean, Might yeah. as well throw you in. <laughs> you know, well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. better get ready to get a lot busier. <laughs> well, yeah. Mm. Well, you brought us all together. To get a lot busier, um, I, here, I see more and more of this on the, uh, on the uh, social media. Yeah. Uh, if, yeah. With your help, Zazel. He needs a website. Yeah, yeah. Website. I said. Uh, well, yeah. so I'd, if you like, I'm happy to. I'm happy to throw up whatever you like in your slaughterhouse group. If you if you want links to anything, or if you want uh, merchandise to go out, I'm Ooh. happy to. You got you got Ooh. so many friends on the slaughter yeah. worldwide. You do uh, on the you slaughterhouse yeah. group. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know they all jump on there and they all talk even above side. the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Way, the way up there. Space. Space. Up in space, no, up in space, yeah. Space commander's over there for me, but and the, you know, right. if you ever want to pop in yourself and just wave and say hi, I mean, I'm sure no one would mind. It's like, oh, is Kelly's <laughs> dad in here now? Wow, <laughs> <laughs> daddy's I watching. Know, I don't know if yeah. you guys can see the same image we have, but Ken, you look like you're wearing my 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 campaign coat. It does, yeah, Ken. Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's got the campaign cover on there. Yeah, <laughs> it's done. It's done on purpose. Well, I mean, Sarge. I mean, you, you brought us all together, right? I mean, Zazel. I think you, uh, you and I met because um, I had done like a like a five minute video on the Mountie um, custom right. Sergeant Slaughter yes. that me and my me and my Canadian friends put together about forty of them. And I know Sarge actually tweeted about that. And I was so honored when he did. And Zazel, yep. you were in my comment section, and we connected, and we've been like friends ever since. Right. Um, so. Yeah, so, that was uh, AFI together. I met because I was buying Sarge's. Space Commander I met because he was watching some of the Sarge content. Toy Connection I met because he did a Sarge-related video on his channel. Todd I met uh, when I was born. And uh, <laughs> 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 as, as just been a thorn in my side ever since. Exactly. And, uh, That's what you were a thorn before. to his. Yeah. Kelly joined the Sword House no. group about a year ago, and I think uh, Kelly joined the group to make sure that we were all being respectful. And uh, you had, are you in the? There's a Facebook group about like old school wrestling, and I feel like you posted about it in that Facebook group. Oh, maybe, yeah. And I was like, happen. "What is this?" And so yeah, yeah, I yeah. clicked on it and joined, and then looked, and I was like, "I don't really understand what's going on here." <laughs> Right, yeah, <laughs> but it's okay. We'll yeah, let it like, it's good. They're fans and they're nice and they're good. So, yeah, we're yeah. I'll let it happen. Oh, thanks. I'll Kelly, allow yeah. it. When, someone named, when someone named Kelly Remus joins, wants to join the group, and you've got to approve it, you think to yourself two things one, that's Slaughter's daughter, or two, someone's fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> she happened to tell you the story about the. Tell that, that you Sergeant Slaughter. Did you Say, oh, that yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Tell us that story. That's okay. So I got 10 more minutes. Let's listen. I got to hear this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I was hanging out with a bunch of my friends. I was in my early 20s. And um, there was this boy that liked me. And I think he was just trying to impress me. But some, so we're all hanging out and, um, my friends knew who he was, that he was my dad, but this guy and his friends didn't know who my dad was. So somehow he comes up in conversation. So this guy is like, Oh, Sergeant Slaughter. I know him and I'm best friends with his son. <laughs> and I was like, what? What? And he goes, yeah, I know Sergeant Slaughter. I'm best friends with his son. We go way back. I hang out over at their house all the time. And my friends are like, dude, like just trying to get him to stop. And I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is, this guy knows Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> and his son. <laughs> So, so tell me about the son, you know? So I just start asking him all these questions and my friends are like feeling bad for him. And they're like, dude. And I'm like, no, 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 really. This is really good. This is so, this is Sergeant Slaughter we're talking about. <laughs> so he, he's just digging himself a little hole. Little. So finally I say, um, I think I asked him like, does he have any other kids? Uh, what street is this? Like, where are you? Where do you guys live? And was asking him all these questions. And um, so finally, I said, "Well, I find all of this really hard to believe." <laughs> he was like, "No, for real. I'm telling you, this is real. <laughs> we, we know him." And I was like, "Well, <laughs> I'm Sergeant Slaughter's daughter, and I don't have a brother, and we've never lived on such and such a street, and I have oh, no wow. idea who the f you are." <laughs> And just everything he said, and so the whole the whole group of peep friends are like, "Oh shit, you just got oh, yeah. you know? burn!" So yeah. So uh, well, come to oh, find God. out, the connection was he his when we lived in Charlotte twice. Okay, once when I was really little, and then we moved away to Connecticut, and then we moved back to Charlotte when I was in high school. Um, so when I was really little and we lived in Charlotte, this we belonged to a pool and tennis club. And his mom played tennis one time with my mom. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> Unbelievable. That was the connection. And I was like, so how do you go from your mom playing my mom in tennis to like 
right. being my next door neighbor and being friends with my my brother that doesn't exist. Yeah. What was yeah. the brother's name? Yeah, did you come oh, I don't name? remember. I don't. Imaginary. It was like Nat or something yeah. like that. Brad. But wow. I'm a nice person, and I didn't hold it against him because I was like, you know, he did was trying to impress me because he right. was into me and he was trying to impress me. But I was like, but he's a liar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably not the best way to start trying to like impress no. a girl. Well, no, yeah. No first date. No first date. So, so, so as far as pickup lines go, I mean, like, <laughs> really, <laughs> really. <laughs> I'd probably yeah. suggest next time. Um, hi, my name is. You know, right. yeah. nice to meet you. I don't know she told you how she met her her husband, and he came over. And oh yeah. Her, oh, you heard that story? No, I haven't told that story. Oh, okay. I haven't heard it. So yeah, you've got some props for this coming up. I'm. Yeah, no, that's not. That's a different story. Yeah, but it leads okay. into it, right? Oh, yeah, story. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm actually. I would like to bring him on for that story. Oh, okay. cool. All right. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Not um, not tonight though. Sure. Okay. okay. If that's okay. Yeah. Well, you call the shot, so yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're the boss. You're, you're catching on, Zayzel, well, and yeah, I love it. I learned. I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> Always Welcome to the daughter house. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty soon it's going to be Zazel, who? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyway, get time. back in here. I'm done. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> All right. So, I met my husband through, I was a, a, I taught skincare, like aesthetics. And one of my students, we had model night every, every Monday was model night where they would bring in friends or family to do a treatment on. And then I would like help them, you know, through the treatment and all of that. So one of my students brought my husband in to get a treatment done. And, um, that's how I met him. So I didn't know, like, I never said to him, like, hey, I don't just go up to people and go, hi, I'm Kelly, my dad's Sergeant Slaughter. It's nice right, to meet right. you. You know, I, I don't do that. <laughs> so I didn't know if my student even knew who my dad was and had passed on the information to this guy who I thought was really hot. And um, so he called me and asked me to go out. And so he is going to come and pick me up. And we're going to have a drink at my place first, and then we're going to go out. So he shows up, and I look through the peephole, and he's got this red shirt on. And I'm like, does that say what I think it says? Did that motherfucker wear a fucking Hulkamania shirt to my house? <laughs> like yes you do you need to take it off he was like what and i was like you are not wearing a hulkamania shirt into my house right he was yeah. like uh, oh, okay so he took it off he had an <laughs> undershirt on so he took it off and he comes inside <laughs> and we go about the date and i just never even it didn't occur to me that he had no idea who my dad was i just thought yeah. it was like this funny little thing he didn't know <laughs> Well, come to find out, he had no idea who my dad was. So I'm like, so you just thought that I was like some bitch that was like, take your fucking shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> I like that shirt. You can't wear that. <laughs> how did he find out then? How did, how did it come about that he found out that that was your dad? Well, I think like later on, like we just started talking about our families and I was like and he was like wait what why was your dad wait what and I was like yeah you know my dad is Sergeant Slaughter and he was like what? did he take off the top like normally or did he rip it off oh, yeah <laughs> that's a good question that's yeah good yeah question. that would have been much more part... impressive if he had been a crap yeah yeah you know? how, long, how long was the time difference between no you are not walking up in here with that to <laughs> 
figuring it out that oh hang on she's not crazy I get that. yeah she, she's allowed to say that yeah yeah she's allowed to say that that's okay i'm gonna take that but how much time was in between that well apparently my husband likes crazy because it was like probably our second date that he found out but second date but we like hung out between yeah, those, like yeah. actual going out and going out on a date and like talked on the phone and all of that stuff. So apparently, well, he, he managed crazy. to get his shirt off on the first date. So that's a he good time. He told me that on the second time, time he came over to pick her up, she wasn't ready. So he was waiting, and she had right. pictures of us, family pictures, on her tables. And he started looking at him, <laughs> and he recognized me, but he didn't say anything to her because he didn't know what any relationship we had. Maybe it was her uncle, or just took a picture with me. But it took a while, like the third date, to finally tell, ask her, "Is that Sergeant Slaughter?" That's when. That's what he told me. That was when he really found out. Wow! He All the gay gay started 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 started. Started. So, yeah. just so I know, am I allowed to bring like Hulk Hogan figures up here, or <laughs> no. is that like bad? No. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I I right. the no, I'm just kidding. You can bring. Them. And I've, I've never sold a Hulk Hogan figure right, ever. Right. I only work here. I don't direct. <laughs> so after, so it was after you guys had met and I was like, Hey dad, by the way, Derek yeah. is a Hogan fan. Mm. And so my dad was like, Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So the next time he saw Derek, he sent him another picture, an autograph. And Zazel, did you forget to load that one up too? Shit, did I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are you are walking on thin ice tonight. <laughs> I'll I will add it later. I'll add it later. I'm As, sorry. We'll, we'll make up for it. As my dad likes to say, you're cruising for a bruising. Cruising for a bruising. Right. Yes. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do? So many, yeah. I'll hit you with so many rights, you'll be begging for a lift. <laughs> We will so re we will uh, rebook WrestleMania seven on one of these episodes. We'll rebook WrestleMania seven. How about that? Right. There we go. Right. So I'll think of an ending. Sure think an of an ending. Autograph of it's a picture of my dad and wait, do you want to tell about the picture? Oh, I have Hulk Hogan in a uh uh camel clutch because I wasn't allowed to use the cobra clutch because Ted DiBiase came in in between my oh, yeah. times of yeah. leaving and going to G.I. Joe and back. So yeah, the million dollar dream. Much as yeah. the Iraqi sympathizer, because I started out doing a knuckle thing to the side of the head, and we got a call saying the kids are hurting themselves at school. Don't do that anymore. And That's so good. Said, why don't you try just doing something <laughs> else? I said, what about the camel clutch? Since we're Iraqi sympathizers, yeah, I like mm. that. I like that. So I started using that. So I got Hulk in a, uh, a camel clutch, and he's nice bleeding, all over. bleeding all yeah. over. And in the audience, you can see uh, uh, Alex Trebek, Alex Trebek, uh, Trump. Donald Trump, uh, William Who else Nelson was there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, John McEnroe, the ZZ Top. Uh, all wow. These, wow. All the top. Uh, the wow. Guys, that that happened to be in that wow. particular section where the picture got wow. taken. So I wrote That's the cool. uh, wrote an autograph to my. Not yet, no, son in law. Not yet, son in law. Right, would, be, right. would have been, yes. Forget yeah. what yeah. it said. Oh, it said, attention, Derek, or at ease, Derek. Derek. Hulk who? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow. Okay. On that note, I probably got a bounce. I, I probably got a bounce. I've stayed an extra 10 minutes because of the special circumstance. But tonight right. was so f I'm going to remember this. Like, I'm, I'm six years old again. But everybody that was here, so right. cool, right? Zazel, right. Todd, Space Commander, Nick, Kelly, and, of course, Sarge. Like, Kelly, thank you for this. Sarge, thank you for coming. Nasal, thank you for hosting the rest of you guys. Like, good to talk I want to you stay. Again. I want to stay another hour, but I'm already late. So, are you still? Are you still in Vancouver? I'm in Vancouver. Been here, uh, yeah, My long time. Cities of all time. That's where I started. With. I want to go there. That's another really? story. Really? Really? Well, story. 
We'll have to uh, first, hit it up sometime. My first app apprenticeship was in Vancouver, Canada. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've been here since 1986. It's been a while. Um, 1973. But... Wow. Okay. You guys, learn guys, something new great, every day. Great stories. Great stories about it. And I love All to right. share. So I do need a favor, though. Sarge, can you dismiss me before I jump off? Uh, Ken? <laughs> you are dismissed, you scum, you slime, you maggot. <laughs> no joke. Thank you so much. I'll see you all soon. You were, carry Love, on. Me, Ken. Love you, Ken. Love, yeah, Ken. Love it. Take care. Okay. All right. That was cool. Good. Now he's gone. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> Ken's Who's always next? the first one. Yeah. yeah, it was me earlier. It'll just be you two. But you two eventually do have to get onto Kelly's channel and, and just talk through talk through the, the life and uh, experiences of, of, well, but the two of you have got so many great stories to tell. Mm. I can't oh, believe, yeah. Kelly, Kelly, you were so instrumental on your first date with your now husband to get his shirt off. Before the first date even started, how? Yeah. Hey, when he came in for that treatment the first time I met him, I got him naked. Well, so. there you go. I'll <laughs> ask him about that when I see him on the next one. <laughs> Sarge never gets enough I of that story. I forgot my dad's here for a second. Wait a minute. In a professional way, of course. When I heard he's a Hulk Hogan fan, I said, you and I need to talk. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. still, I was just thinking about that when you brought him home. The like, when whenever like the girl or the guy, like the guy meets the dad, we're already petrified, mm. right? We're right, already petrified. Right. We're meeting dad. Yeah. Sure. I could not have. I was imagining in my head walking in the door, not knowing, and then going, "I want you to meet my dad." And there yeah. you stand and be like, "You know what? Thank you very much." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you yeah. say? I used right. to know your son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, like, but yes, there sir. was a lot of people that would act like they knew Sarge, is, Sarge and his son and his family. When we lived in Connecticut, my sister was um, dating the captain of the football team, and they were out at the movies in a different town than us. And there were guys, you know, they're all dressed in their letterman jackets and everything. And so there were <clears throat> some football players from a different school in front of them in line in the concession stand. Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to bring oh. up. Uh, oh, I wanted to bring up this. I'm, I didn't. I didn't mean for it to jump on like this. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. But now that That's it's here, it. there's no way I couldn't have Sarge on the show and not show him I me saw that. dressed I saw as that on Sarge. The show you did. Oh, nice. Well, yeah. it's a dream come true to, yeah. to see me as Sarge and Sarge and me. It's just a whole, yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay. I'll get rid of that now. Unintentional. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to derail okay. your story. It was meant to happen in the background. I got too That's excited. Okay. I'm out. I forgot what I was thinking. Forgive me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> talking about your girlfriend and they're out with your football sister. Team. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So the, there were two guys in front of her that were football players for a different um, school. And they were talking about how they really tackled Sarge's son in the game that day. And my sister's boyfriend is looking at her like, are you going to say something? And my sister was like, no, I'm not going to say yeah. anything. Let them think that. If they want to think that, they can think that. <laughs> Meanwhile, I would have been like, no. Mm. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> because that's my dad. I and mean, I don't have a brother. Mm. Mm. I still want to know what your brother's name is. Yeah. I, it... <laughs> I would like to know too what his name is. Unless would it be I like, would it be, would it be Junior? I don't believe so. Okay. Um, I, I if, you, if you did have a son, what would you call your son? Junior? Sarge. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Adam. Adam was, Adam the, Adam was the name. Boy yeah. name. Either Adam or, or Andy was the two names we had in mind. We thought we'd wait till we saw him before we'd name him. And ended yeah. up being Nicole. <laughs> right. That's a great name. Nicole's a great name. You know why? He was missing a, a few parts. Is that your? 
my name's Nick. So in Greek, well, I, that means victory of to the people. So I mean, mm -hmm. Sarge's. I, I can right. see that fitting. Victory to the people. Right. I think yep. it's perfect. Yeah. And my name means warrior. Exactly. Well, I can see that. Yeah, we yeah. Picked up, we picked on that one pretty good. <laughs> what does space mean, space commander? So, like, had like in definition of your name. When, when we were, <laughs> when we were, uh, when I was young, when I was to be born, uh, they didn't have the test to tell parents what they were having a boy or a girl. So right. my mother said that I was either going to be Robert or Roberta. <laughs> right. Roberta, you end up a... as a female or a male, boy or girl. You don't meet a lot of Roberta. Either way, you'd be days. Bobby. I'd be Bobby. That's right. True. Mm. That was my, my, my name growing up, Bobby. My mother called me Bobby. Yeah. Beautiful Bobby at one point. But, uh, huh? Beautiful Bobby. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. Yeah, who, did you name yourself that, Sarge? I named myself that. Yeah. <laughs> I every day I looked in the mirror, I said, yeah. "What? What else well, could I not? call yeah. myself?" <laughs> I, I just say one of those things, and it just happens. You know, yeah, not my fault. <laughs> not my fault. You no, know, we we used to have some fun. Uh, we'd go to Disney World, and people back when I was very, you know. The height of your career. The height of my career. Uh, it was hard to go anywhere, but we did all these things at Disney World for different radio and TV stations where they'd have things called the Goofy Games, and there'd be a celebrity oh, and a sports star, and, and and we would, before the park would open, we'd have to get up at 0400 and go to the park and do all these crazy Goofy Games against all these different teams. And so part of the deal was the girls could go to the park for free. And we stayed on. Oh, cool. Stayed there. Oh, wow. And all the, everything was on the house. I mean, it was top notch. But whenever we were going to the park, we could go in the back gate. We didn't have to go even through the front. I mean, we went through the back. And we went underneath and saw all the tunnels where all the, you know, how yes. they get to every place and how they had their catering and everything down underneath it, all that. And uh, it was just one of those crazy times. And so when people would bother us, they'd say, you're Sergeant Slaughter, you're Sergeant Slaughter. I said, no. Yeah, you are. You? I said, no, I'm his brother. I'm his twin brother. Right. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm John, John Slaughter. Sarge is the, the mean one. I'm the nice one. Oh, nice. <laughs> And the girls would giggle and go, Dad, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, we, let's have some fun. They're bothering us. Let's bother them. You know? I like that was my way of entertaining <laughs> myself with my daughters. And... I'll, we went to the movies one time. I was in high school, so I was older. But he and I went to the movie because that was always our thing was we would go to the movies together. And we went to the movies and some guy came up to us and was like, hey, do you know who you are? <laughs> and I'm like, oh no. So I look at my dad and he goes, Yeah, I know who I am. Do you know who you are? <laughs> he goes, Well, you're Sergeant Slaughter. You need to buy my ticket. And he was like, wow. No, I'm Sergeant Slaughter. You need to buy my ticket. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> Other way around. Yes, that's that's that that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Many times being at like a restaurant or being out somewhere and we'd be eating and my dad would go, <clears throat> Kelly, we got to get out of here. I think somebody recognized you. And I'd be like, oh, okay, let me hurry up and eat. We got to get out of here. I'd always tell them they recognize them. Yeah. He'd always That's be like, right. hey, Kelly, you got recognized. Or Nicole, you got recognized. Hilarious. Actually, well, be happy. Been, it sounds like that would have been tough growing up. Like, I mean, there, there's a fantastic side of like obviously what you i mean i wouldn't have a clue but from an outside perspective a lot of people don't realize it's not all fun and games it's really not like it's fantastic your dad sergeant slaughter height of his career but as a kid growing up i'd have to imagine that would have been a bit tough like it, it would have been tough it was tough and he was gone all the time so there was many 
father-daughter dances, father-daughter events where it was like, you know, your dad's going to try to make it home and, Mm -hmm. you know, he really wants to be here, but he's working and things like that. And there'd be plenty of times, but his friend is his friend is gonna go and go with you, and I'm like, wow. I don't want to go with him. <laughs> I'd rather just not go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, things like that kind of sucked, but um, hire a dad. Yeah, rent a dad. <laughs> anybody? Rent a dad. Um, rent but a dad, you know, yeah. he was doing. He was, he was supporting. Touching the like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They they were very understanding, and someday when I make my speech with the Academy Awards, you know, I'll, <laughs> I'll mention all that. And so I'm, you had your chance at the Hall of Fame. Oh, I did. Yeah, I, did. <laughs> I can tell you now, me personally in Australia, with my boy, we are going to make sure that this bad boy here, the name, it's coming back. I can tell you now, I do GI Joe auctions, and your yeah, action yeah. figure sells higher than any others that yeah all the time it's always good to hear that all the time don't matter if it's a uh, uh the warthog driver the uh, i've got them all trust me huh? yeah. <laughs> the, the always what? triple c tanks out the door you know the uh of course you being with gi joe and all that you know that the first action figure where the campaign caver cover came off was which one which vehicle well i know oh. it's the warthog yeah, the uh, the warthog, warthog. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I actually I got a Get couple of the harder RSS. question. Oh, harder yeah, question. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're bringing inside this floor back. That's what we're doing. It's a pretty easy question, wasn't it? We're bringing it back the eighty-four mail away. I got yeah, yeah. I well, like you, that one. The, you know how the uh, how the J- LJN Hasbro uh, action figure was done. Uh, it was that's up. You know, when you look back at it, that was a pretty big deal. You know, right, yes. think much of it back then, but today, that was yeah. pretty astronomical what they did. I mean, I don't know if that Directly was a word astronomical, yeah. but, but to take a, a character and make me uh, just for the, another game, just for, as a mail in, mm. and they actually made me a little bit taller than all the uh, LJN. <laughs> Just a really uh, scrape. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I was almost as tall as Andre. <laughs> right, yes. But True. There's, a, there's an ad where I'm I'm in the ring and everybody from the WWF is laying on the mat and I've got my boot on Hulk's throat. <laughs> yeah, <And> yeah. <laughs> it, it tells them how you can get the Sergeant Slaughter LJN action figure to join, you know, forces with your LJN wrestler, so that was a pretty big deal, you know. It's a great advertisement. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I guess you really couldn't do it today without a bunch of lawsuits, but right. yeah, it was yeah, what a it way just to sell was, it. You know, it wasn't in a store; it was mail order mm-hmm. only, which yeah, made it even more a uh, collector's item now today. Yeah, yeah. One of the most yeah. thought after. Uh, if you I if you still have it. one in a bag, I think you're going for about uh, two. Two thousand dollars. I don't know, maybe even more. I've seen them thought, more. You know that picture that you showed on Twitter, Sarge, with the um, I think it was like five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars for the oh the, uh, yeah that one. You know why that is? Yeah, it yeah. Have, it doesn't have my name on the bottom of the package. Oh, yeah, yeah. So now I've got to hunt down one of those. Thank you very <laughs> right. much. And, you know, <laughs> really, what really I, I get a kick out of it is. They want one hundred and thirty-six dollars for uh, shipping charge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they want yeah. ten thousand dollars for the figure, but one hundred thirty-six dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ship you got to still pay for shipping. No, it, no. it should be free shipping after that. <laughs> I, I think so, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh sorry. You have that, that has that Hasbro figure, Sarge, is not even signed by you. No. No, they, yeah. they somebody else signed it. That's what makes it even worth more. Even the ones that have my name on it. This. Yeah, there you go. That's the one. There. That's the one. Is that the one you open up and it's got the ad in it? Uh, I've got a couple of sizes. Most of them I send to us. <laughs> yeah, I got to give them to. There he is. I reckon I, I probably have, got one. Hang on a second. I have one, I one that. One. Uh, I have one that has the. Uh, 
the Cripple T tank and a couple other information this one here, uh, file oh, cards. Oh. I've got a few of them because obviously I'm I'm one of the, the biggest GI Joe dealers uh, down my way. So oh, okay. I've got hundreds of these. I just keep collecting and collecting. Yeah. But um, I know I, I knew the, I had uh, this one. Yeah, that's one I'm of my favorite the, ones. Yeah, that's the one where I chained up. As my yeah. one. I think that's the one that has the ad in it. There it is, right there. Yeah. yeah. What I was just talking about. There's <laughs> right on the floor. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> that was how you got the search. I can tell you now, that, the, uh, that figure that is it. worth a monster now, as it oh. should be. Yeah. Crazy one amount thing, of price. One thing that bothers me about the Sergeant Slaughter G.I. Joes is that whenever they advertise the actual uh, figure, so... For instance, when they're advertising the mail away, there you go. They don't call it a swagger stick accessory. They'll call it a baton or baton. they'll call Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or a uh, night stick or whatever it is that they call it. Batons on the on there regularly. It's like you know, I wonder uh, if that's a European term. Instead of possible. saying swagger stick, I wonder if that's a European term of saying a baton. Maybe because I have uh, figures where I have a baton in it, and that's what uh, Boss Man used. So I don't yes. know if they had a uh, an abundance of uh, batons and they stuck it in my action figure, but it's actually the one that he used. Yeah, and why is that? I saw that too. Um, yeah, yeah. He, a sergeant sort of in, in the uh, Jacks line had a yeah. had an actual yeah. 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 I thought that was a weird thing to include with a Sergeant Slaughter I, figure. I, I, I always never could understand why they put a baton in there like the uh, yeah. boss man. That's not the same Give thing. Give me two as seconds, guys. Can you imagine how, how tough I would have been with a baton? With a, baton, a, with a night a stick, nice yeah. Stick yeah. Instead of yeah. A stick. <laughs> you could bust wow. some skulls with one of those. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't, I don't think you needed the stick. I just think maybe they thought, you know what, let's give him an accessory to make it feel fair for Cobra. That's possible. possible. <laughs> no, Who knows? Well, you've got the slaughter cannon, Sarge. You didn't need a, uh, you yeah, didn't need a baton. I did. That's right. What, one time we came back from Europe, uh, I believe it was Australia, in fact, and uh, I was kind of in charge of uh, the guys. You know, They had to have somebody sober that took care of everybody, you know. And, right. And so we were coming back from the trip and we're going through the uh, security in the Boston airport. And as we came through security, I was the first one and the uh, security guys recognized me. And I said, I got a bunch of guys coming through and they all, their eyes got like saucers. And I, I said, we, we've been, you know, flying a long time and we've been away for four weeks. Is it? Could you be good to us? I think everybody's tired and want to get wants to get to the hotel. And yeah, no problem. He said, "Do you have anything to declare?" And I said, "There's a slaughter cannon. I got the slaughter <laughs> cannon." Anyway, it was funny at the time. I thought it was funny then. <laughs> I, it was funny then. <laughs> I said, "Do I have to declare the slaughter cannon?" I was actually trying to figure out how you got on the plane because, you know, right, right. you could yeah, get arrested yeah. most of the time for concealing deadly weapons. So, yeah. Listen, you get there. I know all the guys thought it was funny. That, you know, the, we've, been, we've been seeing Kelly's biceps for so long that it's just. <laughs> oh, man. I wish I, <laughs> I know, had he, We're desensitized now. You know what they call that, right? What's that? A gun rack. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like it. The oh. gun rack. Again, I will go back to my first comment. Always listen to the woman. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Right. That's always. Right. That's why she runs the show now. I don't want any trouble. Exactly. <laughs> safer. I mean, yeah. Well, you guys are probably pretty wore out, aren't you? But working with Hasbro, uh, do you work a lot with Hasbro? Who are you talking to? Nick? Yeah, Nick. I'm sorry. Me? Nick, um, actually, look. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've tried to because Australia and America are very different. When we're yeah. when uh, we've got like U.S. Hasbro, Australian Hasbro, um, sadly the information doesn't pass very well. So um, right. I've collected for like thirty years, my entire life, right. and I've got a lot of American people that I've known and built relationships up with. 
So most of my stuff actually comes from my guys in the US and it's a lot faster and quicker and to bring it in price wise for Australian collectors, right. I can sort of match. Uh, prime example was with Bobby with the a- Action Force line when I found it. I was right. like, bro, oh. <laughs> I need to get in on this. No yeah. one in Australia knows about it. But if right. I do bring it in, I want to be able to sell it for the same price as a big bad toy store. Sure. So Aussies can still like, you know, get the item without paying ridiculous amounts. And right. we managed to come to a deal to be able to do that because mm-hmm. for me collecting, I collect. Uh, that's what I do. Like, um, yeah. I love GI Joe. I mean, obviously I know you from wrestling and GI Joe. Um, I have so many questions. I just, you really, I could like rattle off so many things I love to know, but Hasbro, um, for me, Transformers, GI Joe and that I'm a big Hasbro fan. Always have been, always have been, but I'd love to, um, be able to connect with them better and bring more over. So our collectors here can actually attain the stuff that we love seeing in the U S because right. America is the, the key market. It's, right. That's where it's at. Like, uh, I'd love it. But, you know, my dream is open up a shop and be able to have G.I. Joe on the wall again, like they have in Walmart and all those places, Walgreens in the U.S. But we just right. we just don't have it here. We don't like, like even classified line. I actually right. had a feeling that you were going to be in the classified line. Like, I really thought that was going to happen. I was like, <laughs> if that happens, oh, my God, just please yeah. make him like the 86 Slaughter. Right. With the swagger stick, and that's it. Right, right. Maybe right. even build a triple T. That would be an ultimate oh, like, yeah. classified thing. Yeah. But yeah, Bobby got you covered. But before you joined us, I, I brought this on and I've talked briefly about it. This is the Mattel right. uh, Ultimate Edition, and it's the only one that has the box. I'm the only one in the box of all the figures. Take it out of here. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Is it the blue card or the black card variant? Sarge? This is a blue, a blue card, but did they send you a black card? Do you get? Do they, they send it's all card? random. It's all random. They don't. You don't, you don't know what you're getting until you open it up. True. Let's see how they. they yes. Put all this oh. uh, writing. I'm a maggot. Got yeah, a, yeah. Ten hut. Ten hut. USA. <laughs> so that's an order. Oh, that's I, thought, I thought every wrestler had that they made these yeah, for they... had this, but I'm the only one. And they only That's allowed 3,200 of these to be to be built. That is sweet packaging. Or to, mm. to yeah. be uh, designed. Produced. And then that goes inside of it, of course. And that's yes. the blue. That's not the chase. That's the, the blue version. But on the back, it shows all the the... The characters that were going to be made into this edition, and I, I was the first one on the uh, on the board, and I got these beautiful <clears throat> letters from WWE <laughs> and, and from uh, Mattel thanking me because they sold out in two and a half minutes. Mm. Yes, well, I, yes. I, the reason I brought it to your attention yeah. was I was wondering, is it a hot item in? Where you at? Australia. Where you're at? Oh, yeah. Is it, is it hard like, to get? Or? Sergeant's yeah, water on, um, you know, the WWE line that brought out with the Motu that has right. your figure? Muscle of the so Universe. They weren't available yeah. here. Yeah, they yeah. weren't available. I think you've got one. I gave you one. He Man one. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. We don't, we don't even, even have them on shelf. shelf. Not even on shelf. No. So I brought no. them in from yeah. overseas. Yeah, this one here. Yeah, mm, that's it. Yeah. That even have the whole punch. So they haven't even hit here yet. And in they're Perth, not going to. There's no, no. They won't hit. Like but there's I've nothing done. there's nothing here in Perth at all wrestling on shelf at the moment at all at the moment. Even yeah, Big yeah. W is not even stocking. So basically they were a Walmart exclusive. Yeah. So I knew that no one would be able to get them here, so I managed to source them. They were selling for a set of four. Your figure alone was selling for like 200 US. Right. Mm. So I managed to get, uh, I think I bought in 50 sets and they sold out in seven minutes. Mm-hmm. It was insane. And I managed to remember, I had to keep one for my boy and I sent it to him. He didn't even know he was getting it, but I no. could not have him miss out on one. Yeah. So this yeah. was one of those circumstances <laughs> where um, I hit up Nick and I said, Nick, 
uh, are you going to be getting this wave? Because you can't get them anywhere. And he's like, is that Sergeant Slaughter? I said, yes, it is. And I need it. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to get these? And so he was able to uh, uh, secure that, that, um, that entire wave. With, uh, Diesel, what, what's the one you're really looking for? Is there one, one specific? Well, I mean, there's... you. I, he wants the, the bagged G.I. Joe. Bad. The bagged. The bag. Oh, you're talking about the rule breaker. So you've got the there's a few that, right. So rule breaker one is one that I know I'm never going to see in hand. Another one that is going to be tricky to find is the the one that I showed with the LJN inspired one, the the, oh. the wrestling one, the rubbery right. one. Right. And those are things that um, are either very hard to get or just weren't available here. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, between the rule breaker and the and the LJN inspired one. Uh, yeah, those those two I don't think I will ever I will ever have in my collection. But I'm able to uh, you know watch from afar and enjoy other people's collections. Kelly did a show and tell, uh, which was you know part of the fun of uh, you know I want I want I want to own everything, but I just know that I can't. <laughs> I know I showed one, and he was like, Kelly, Kelly, can I have that? <laughs> 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 <Yes>. <laughs> And then one of them, I said, "Yeah, you can have it, but you got to come and get it." <laughs> but there are there are other ones that are that are hard to find. Like the I managed to get the um, the Mattel one. I got the black card and the blue card. But like you said, they were difficult to they were difficult to even get on the day, and right. you don't know which one you're getting. You're getting them randomly. So I knew uh, the good thing about that one is that you can open it and not have to destroy any of the packaging. You can put it all back yeah. back in again. And yeah. so um, the fact that I was able to get the black card and the blue card was just dumb luck. Yeah. Um, oh, and I wasn't even I wasn't even certain I was going to get any at all. Like I knew they would sell out, but I didn't realize that by the time I'd finished checking out, that they were all sold out. Mm -hmm. You know, just like within within moments. And I didn't even um, I didn't feel like I was even rushing myself to get through the process. I was like, these are going to sell out. I need to get them. So I created an email I, um, to, because you've got to have a, you got to have an email for the Mattel site, created an account, um, and then, and then did the order. And luckily I got through. And then people were saying that they couldn't even do it. And I was like, far out. If I had known that, I might have put a little bit more uh, effort into getting it done quickly, you know? Yeah. yeah. But and then they only allowed you to have two. Right. So yes, that's right. So two max. So between Mark, Mark wasn't certain if he was going to be able to get it. Mark Potter, he wasn't sure if he was going to be able to get it, and he wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get it. So I ordered two because if Mark couldn't get one, I could send him one, and vice versa. That so nice. it just, yeah, it just so happened that um, it worked out that we were both able to secure it, thankfully. But yeah. Anyway, I've rambled on a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, sure. you're gonna, you're gonna hey, get right. your show. It's my show. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Kelly. Kelly it's the sort of daughter show. Yeah, yeah. It's daughter daughter house. She's I never, I never, I honestly never think of this as my show. This is always a team effort. It's our show. Um, <laughs> yeah, if I if I was just doing this by myself, it would be very lonely. So I'm I'm uh, happy to always have people on with me enjoying oh. the experience. Well, you brought a lot of joy to, to Kelly. Let me tell you. Ever since she's oh, been good. doing this, she's just uh, asked me all these questions that you know, right. you've asked her or other people have asked in the show, and she wants confirmation on certain things. And, yeah. And we start talking about, you know, things that happen on the road, and, and uh, then it just whole happened that I was going to be uh, available last week, but then my schedule changed, and then you're, you right. weren't able to do it. So it worked out good right. that I could be here. I just came from the airport, I guess. Basically, I was in a traffic jam telling Kelly, I'll be there. I'm coming. I'll like, be you there. better get here now. <laughs> 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 because I really don't know the story about Japan. So when they ask me about it, I'm not going to be able yeah. to tell them anything. And you I'm seemed very like confident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just go ahead and start the story. I'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be <laughs> making it up. Yeah. That happens so, to yeah. one time. <laughs> I was uh, wrestling Andre the Giant in a small uh, town in New Jersey. It places to the rafters with people. And Andre was on his way back from Japan, and they couldn't, you know, you know uh, the old cell phone. We didn't have cell phone. 
So the fellow who was running the show said, he'll be here. He'll be here. Just I fill said, the time. Sure. sure. So didn't know what time. Didn't know what time. So finally, he says, well, we went through two intermissions. We got to gotta get out there and do something. So uh, he said, go out and start doing a promo and rile the people up a little bit. And when, the ref, when Andre comes, I'll send the referee to the ring. That way you'll know he's here. So I'm out there and I on and on and on about 20, 25 minutes. People are pretty soon they're like, okay, Slaughter. You're going to call me a mag, you know. Like, okay, okay, I'm a puke. Okay, well, let's get going. Let's get some going. So finally, here comes the referee. And I said, oh, thank God. He said, Andre's here. And I said, oh, good, good. He said, no, not good. I said, what? He's he can hardly walk. He's plastered. <laughs> he's he's had drunk. He, he must have drunk a real lot. He was overserved on the airplane, you know. Oh well. So anyway, here comes Andre. No jacket, nothing. He had an afro, looked like a lion. Yeah. He was, but the afro, he looked about <laughs> eight feet tall. And he gets in the ring, and he he liked me, <laughs> so he just stood across the ring from me with his hands. Fold them like this, and my <laughs> was just laughing at me. <laughs> and so the referee went to bring it together, and Andre's like hanging on to the rope. His arms are so long, he's getting the instructions in the middle of the ring, and he's hanging on to the, the rope. Yeah, yeah. So his breath was like <laughs> incredible. <laughs> and I looked at the referee and said, Boy, this is going to be a rough night. <laughs> <laughs> we ring the bell and we started and Andre's in the best mood possible and he's just having all kinds of fun with me <laughs> as oh, you can man. imagine so finally I said oh, I've had enough of this so I get him in a front face lock and I start grinding my side of my my uh, arm my wrist into the side of his jaw just because you can't hurt him <laughs> I mean, nah. no matter what you do so I'm, I'm like really putting it on him Next thing I know, he goes down to a knee, and now I, I got all of his weight out in his head in my lap, and pretty soon it goes down to another, and he's flat out. He's almost as long as the ring, laying there, and I've got him in this front face lock and all his hair in my face, <laughs> and I'm going, <laughs> ref, ask him if he gives up, because you're supposed to always ask the referee, the opponent wants to give up, so, what do you say, Andre, what do you say? No response. <laughs> so then it's the referees supposed to lift up their arm and yeah. He, so he picks up his big paw and lets it go and wham it hits the the, the ring and I'm like, uh oh. That wasn't good. <laughs> so I I light up a little bit. I ask him again, ref. What do you say, Andre? No sound. Pick up big paw again, drops it, wham. And I went, well, if he does that one more time, the match is over. And we've only yeah. did about five minutes. And there's going to be a riot <laughs> if the referee rings the bell. So I start, you know, whacking him now on the back because I, I can't get any response out. So finally the referee says, Sarge, i got to ask him. Okay, go ahead. It's up to you. So he goes to pick Andre's arm up. And all of a sudden we hear this <laughs> huge, huge snore. He's passed out. So now I got to start waking him up. So I'm hitting him as hard as I can yeah. on the back. Come on, Andre. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. And I'm, I'm slapping him as hard as I can. My hand is hurting. Finally, he comes to and he look, gets on his hands and knees and he looks up at me and he goes, ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. And I went, ah. so He gets up. I start running around the ring. He starts chasing me. He cuts wow. off the ring. I jump over the top rope. He goes over the top rope. I run around the ring. He's chasing me everywhere. Finally, I said, I don't know what to do. So I run back to the dressing room. <laughs> Crashed into the dressing room. And the guy that was running the show was playing, you know, cribbage or some card game. And he's got a big cigar hanging out of it. 
the hell are you doing in here? I said, <laughs> Andre's after me. He said, what do you mean? Yeah. After me? And all of a sudden, the doors went off the, the hinges, and here comes Andre. Wow. Uh, <laughs> 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 so I'm running around these steel lockers, and Andre's chasing me, and pretty soon he stops, and he's trying to keep me from, you know, it was a, like a stone, you know, stone uh, tops uh, episode, like uh, Laurel and Hardy. Finally, I, I wow. go out, get away from him, and I see the kid that's driving my camouflage limo. I said, I said, uh, get the car ready. He said, what? I said, get the limo. <laughs> see that exit sign? If, next time I come through that exit sign, you better have that limo waiting for me. So he says, okay, okay. And I grabbed my stuff, too, you know, in the locker room. So here comes Andre. We're doing all this stuff in, in the ring. And finally, gets a hold of me, and he starts give me an, uh, a bear hug and just crucified me. I mean, he was just ragdolling me all over the place. And finally, I, I just said, I, I can't take it anymore. So I, I gave him a couple of shots, cheap shots, and he, here he come after me again, over yeah, the top yeah. rope. I see that exit sign, and I, that's where my eyes were. <laughs> and I headed for that exit sign, and I pushed those doors open. There my camouflage limo was. And the kids got the door open. I slid into the back seat he shut the door and jumped into the driver's seat and i look up through the back window and there's andre ah! <laughs> yeah. and off off we went to the sunset my one 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 of my episodes with the andre fun time fun time oh that was good what about going to his house oh <clears throat> And the faucet, because he was so big and everything was special made for him. The yeah. toilet seat. Yeah. You had he had to like get a step stool to get up on the toilet. Yeah, my the... my wife and I were invited to Andre's uh, home in Ellerby, North Carolina, for a barbecue. Oh, okay. You you bring wife. You come. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so we we thought you know twelve o'clock. Should we get there about twelve o'clock? We drive up at like one o'clock and Andre's still in bed. <laughs> yeah. So I knock on the door. Oh, boss, uh, barbecue's not till six o'clock. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> okay, it's okay. And he had a gazebo the size of most people's houses, you know, it's gigantic. So he comes out, he's got a pair of uh, gym shorts on and it's all he's got. Yeah. And he, he sits around and he's like, Entertaining us the best he can. He's hung over, you know. He's just like, yeah, okay. So we're we're drinking, and finally a few more people start showing up. And finally, my wife Diane says, uh, "Bob, I have to go to the bathroom." I said, "Well, I'll ask Andre. Andre, you have a place for the, she can go to the bathroom." Yeah, you come with me. So he takes her in. Pretty soon she comes running out about a half hour later. She'd been in there. It's like a, a, a tour. <laughs> she was taking a right. tour. And uh, she comes running out. Bob, you've got to come and see this. I said, what? She said, you won't believe it. I can't ex ex explain it to you. So she takes me into the house and takes me into the Andre's bathroom. And he had a friend who was uh, in the business of making faucets and things like that. Uh, uh, ceramic and all that. And he made Andre special faucets for his hands. And she right. said, look, she says, look. And she's like, two hands <laughs> opening up his wow. the faucet. Turning the water on. And he had a, a special toilet made for himself. His bed was yeah, like yeah. two things to, together. And he had two or three pieces of furniture that were made just for his size, you know. Wow. And it was just mind-boggling. All the doorways were 15 feet high and you know, it's a giant's right. house. It was a giant's yeah. But it was, it was a pretty incredible thing to see. That's amazing you telling that story because for a guy like me who watched <clears throat> your, like, do it on the TV, we don't, we, like, we see Andre the Giant, but we don't really see Andre the Giant. Right. We just right. see Sergeant Slaughter, Andre the Giant, okay, two wrestlers, they're going at it. We don't actually, like, that's just amazing to think that. Right. From your yeah. point of view, and you're you're not you're not a small man, like you, you right, right, you Sarge, and yeah. then you're talking about like this. Yeah, oh yeah, like, he, he made me look small. I mean, I, I you didn't know how big he was till you got in the ring with him, right? 
was was feet, he the he 22 so inch? The shoes. hottest? The shoes were 22 inches, you know. That's was he one of the shoe. hottest guys you ever fought? Like, who was the, the toughest? Oh, he was my toughest opponent, toughest? if he wanted to be. I mean, yeah. he, he always backed off on me. He, he likes me for some reason, but. I, I like to play well, cards. Well, what's not to like? Oh, well, that's <laughs> true. That's about I like, to, I like playing yeah. cards. And when I first got into the business, I was telling Ken, I started in Vancouver and I ended up down in Portland, Oregon for the Don Owens promotion. And Andre came in there one time and asked me if I would give him a ride. So for the whole week, I hauled him around in my car and I had a, a pretty good sized car. And he was appreciative of it. And always, you know, was really nice to me after that point. But I, I met Andre when he was in his prime. I mean, he, he could do drop kicks. He could, you know, do all kinds of, of things. I, I had a match with Andre in uh, a little uh, Pennsylvania town, and Vince McMahon Sr. Was, was with him. And we got into the ring, and all of a sudden we're having this match, and Andre says, to the referee, slam. And I I hear, I hear the word slam. So I'm waiting for him to slam me. And I hear him yell the referee again, slam. So waiting for him to pick me up and throw me over his head and wherever he's going to throw me. And the referee said, he wants you to slam him. I said, what? There's no way. Wow. <laughs> I was in pretty good shape. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so I, out to hell, I'll try it. So I, everything I had, I got them up over my head and I slammed them. And the nice. people went nuts. I mean, this is 1980. Mm, <laughs> right. 1980. This is before Hulkamania was even born, I think. But mm. So we, we, we're, we're continuing the match. And next thing I hear, slam one more. <laughs> you can't be talking. He doesn't want me to slam on the second time. Next time, slam. So, uh, the hell, I'll try it. <laughs> That's not too bad. I picked, everything I had, I picked him up and I slammed him again. I mean, he, he was kind of allowing me to do it, but I, yeah, did yeah. It. I did it myself. And the next thing, I look and he picks me up and he puts me on his shoulder. And he's got, I'm looking at the lights of the, arena and he's got me like he's mad at me and i said oh what the hell i'll try it i kick i kick off the top turbuckle with my feet which makes me go over the backwards and i with all my might i want to suplex andre over the top of me and my legs just gave out of me and he fell right on top of me almost oh, killed wow. me <laughs> and, yeah, and yeah. all of a sudden i hear this voice that's enough, Andre. That's enough. Let's go. <laughs> Mr. McMahon Sr., he was afraid that yeah. Andre was going to get hurt or something was going to happen. And so he said, that's it. Don't ever do that again. You know, <laughs> kind of scolding. Yeah, Mr. yeah. Senior. But uh, those those are things that, you know, probably one of the first times I've ever told that story, that I actually had slammed Andre the Giant twice in one match. Well done. Back in 1980. Thanks for sharing. Fun. That's awesome. Oh, oh, no, I, keep going. I can listen to you all day. This yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I'm, I'm like, I, I don't even want to say anything. I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I'm like <laughs> this. 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 Hazel, he knows me. Um, I don't shut up. So, like yeah. I said, I'm, by, by all know, means, I'm then, like. Later on, of course, it became the big deal where Hogan slammed them that one right. time. In yeah. 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 That was. That was everybody. I never wanted to spoil, you know, to the so surprise. You did it twice in one night. Like I lived with it. But just in case you're listening to Hulk Hogan, you immortal <laughs> puke, <laughs> you slime. <laughs> I did it first. I did it, first. I did it twice. It That's minute. right. It almost right killed you in the end. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait for like him to like in your comments. Like, because he actually watches. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. There's going to be this big, huge argument. Like, Remember. it's going to be amazing. Oh, we yeah. have recreated the 80s. Yeah. Yes. I'm not, 
I'm not getting any younger. I might as well start telling the story. Doing it now. Yeah. Mm. Now, have you not written a book yet? <laughs> yeah, he haven't read the book yet. No, he has not written a book. Oh, that book. We're looking book. forward to the I book. I have tried. I have tried. Now so have you not written a I... book yet? Yeah, I've yeah. given him tape recorders. I'm like, Dad, if you don't want to like take, yeah. uh, just talk into this microphone. This is why I'll your channel it. is going to be amazing, Kelly. Is because like you can do this, you can have conversations with your dad, yeah. and are back to like you know how it was not only for you growing up, but like you know, obviously you, Sarge, as a dad with two daughters. Like, it's a back and forth. It's going to be an amazing channel. I can't wait for, like, it to start. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, I want I'm to on top. So imagine being, imagine being, well, I don't know if all of you guys are dads, but I know some of you are dads, right? All of you are dads. So your daughter is, like, dating this guy and you don't really like him or whatever. You mm. really want to give it to him, but you can't because of who you are because that's going to get out. Right, it can get right. out there. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? yeah. So it's almost like a catch twenty two. No win situation. That's true. Uh, no All win. I can say about yeah. that though is, I'm I was born in seventy eight. I grew up in that era. Okay. For for someone like me, um, a book like yours, on not only your professional career and part of you know your family life and that, that is a book that. I'd be, huh, I'd be all over that. Like, oh yeah, just, definitely. That's that's just um. There there are icons, in you have icons in your life that you you grew up with. Okay, so we we talk about GI Joe and Transformers and the toy line, but as a person, that's you're an integral part of the you. You're an eighties. You you're you're the eighties. Like mm. yes, we talk about Hulk Hogan, Sergeant right. Slaughter, Optimus Prime. Those are the names that will be synonymous for years. Like my kids, even right now, my son's sixteen, and he knows who Sergeant Slaughter is. Hmm. Optimus Prime. He puts you in that. To me, you're an icon. Right. So right. that book has to come. Yeah. Well, okay. you know one thing. I also I tell Sarge what to do. One but, thing I've always talked to uh, <laughs> Kelly and her sister and her mother about is having them write a book about. What's it like to have mm. certain slaughter for a dad and a husband? <laughs> I already mm. have the name of my book. Tell the story. And now you know it. That's a whole different story. You know, you know. I already have the name of my book. Gone? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you want to hear the name of my book? What it's yes, going to be? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's a channel exclusive. The Shadow of a Legend. In the Shadow of a Legend. There you go. Oh. If you want to know what it's like to be Sergeant yeah. Slaughter's daughter, I'm going to tell you. This is what it's like to be in the shadow of a legend. Nice. Raw. I and what is the picture on the front? Is that just you, Kelly, and the silhouette of the Sarge? Yeah. Like this. One of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like Anakin, like Anakin, but you're doing this. It's like that Anakin picture with Darth Vader's shadow <laughs> in the back. There you go. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like... Kelly's like this, and you see yeah. Kelly's yeah. background with a silhouette yeah. like this. I'm yeah, yeah. You, that is that's gold. Um, I yep. would like sign copy. Um, which one of you is in, <laughs> yeah. which one of you is in the shadow of which legend? I tell you a funny story, and all that what we're talking about tonight is being video. You know, it's recorded, well, yeah. so we can always use it for the book when we need some information. But exactly, true, I was in catering one time. Uh, for a WWE I'll be right back. Uh, house show or a TV show, Raw. And that was back when Vince would come into the catering and you know, eat. So I'm at a table and another couple of guys are at a table and Vince joins us. So we, we're eating, we're talking, you know, business. And finally he looks like, uh, across the table at me because we're talking about things that happened, you know, that day or that weekend or on the road. And uh, he said, Sarge, you need to write a book. And I said, write a book? Who's got time with you? Get my schedule with you, you know, got me on the road 300 days. Out. Who's got time to write a book? He said, no, really, you really need to, to do a book. Mm. I said, Vince, 
it had to be an encyclopedia. <laughs> and he stopped, he stopped eating. He was chewing, but he was just looking at me, and you could see the wheels. Oh, uh, you gave him the idea. Turning. And right. So that, that's a very, that was a very funny thing that you just, uh, not a funny thing. He said, that was a good answer. Mm. And uh, he got up, left his food, left the catering, went back to his office. And about six months later, the yeah. first WWE encyclopedia yeah. came out. <laughs> And you're 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 not even have like the a very large portion in that encyclopedia. Yeah, you know, in yeah. in the grand I scheme guess, of things, it's a very small section. I guess if I didn't get much residuals out of it, at least I got my picture in there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that, well, Vince. Remember that. A good idea is a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, but it just uh, it was fun uh, traveling with Vince in a car. Pat Patterson mm. and I, Vince, Jack, uh, Gerald Briscoe, mm. we would go down the road. Just, you know, that's how we first, you know, got to be friends mm. and, and got the new wrestling going. And he took it over from his father and, and all of our de- ideas and experiences. And, and Vince was hearing all of that, you know. And, and uh, if it wasn't for Pat Patterson, one, one night uh, I dropped everybody off. And I went to drop Vince off at his house, and then Pat was going to get in the front seat and drop him off last on my way home. And uh, he got out of the back seat, and Vince got out of the front seat, and he says, Vince, where are you at tomorrow? Well, I'll be at the office. What time? Uh, be about 10 o'clock. Okay, I'm coming into the office. This is Pat Patterson telling Vince, I'm coming in the office tomorrow, and you and I are going to start this new company getting its butt off the ground and you know we were okay so next thing i know i go into the office and there's pat got his own office got a suit and tie on and he's teaching vince our side of the business and vince is teaching him his side of business the television and then all the and they clicked and that's why we're doing this right now <laughs> the reason why we're even on this show right now is because those two made all this happen from back right. back then you know all this uh notoriety and and you know it made us larger than life it's just yeah it's incredible and you're you're allowed to go have a show like this and talk about sergeant slaughter and hulk Hogan and andre the giant have guests on and talk about wrestling and you know, it's all because of those two. I mean, they weren't the only ones that, that started, but, you know, I, I learned a lot, you know, coming up and the, the certain guys that you would listen to. And, you know, Roddy Piper, you know, he, he was a dear, dear friend. And we traveled mm-hmm. up and down the highways and told stories. And, and I basically just try to, you know, make sure he got home. Sometimes I would, he would be so tired and we'd have a camouflage limo and he would fall asleep in the back seat. And Don Cronovo, Uncle Don, was the driver. And I, he'd say, what should we do? We got to the car where we have everybody parked their cars and we couldn't wake the hot rod up. So I said, let's just take him to his apartment. So we take him to his apartment. He's passed out, pick him up haul him into his bed, put him on his bed, leave. Next day I came back, opened up the door. He was still in the same position wow. he was in when I left him. <laughs> we came back, picked him up, put him back in the back end of the, the camouflage limo and went off to our next city. And he finally woke up and he was looking around. Like, hey, Uncle Bob, where are we? Oh, hey, we're on our way to Asheville. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got a double shot today. He said, did I sleep in the car all night? I said, no, you slept, you slept in your bed. You're fine. You're good. So, but that's the way we took care of each other. It's, you know, yeah. A brother. We, were like bro- we were like brothers. You know? There's a, a group of guys that just looked after each other. You know? 
Yeah, yeah. Those Roddy Piper's one chapter is a is a book in itself. The stories sure. I have on Roddy Piper. I mean, <laughs> Well, we didn't say you had to do one book. We, you know, no, you know, no, it right. could be a trilogy. Right. It's encyclopedia. It's encyclopedia. Mm. Exactly right. Have volumes. Um, volumes. I can tell you now, I reckon there's a market there for the Sarge Library. Just yeah, right library. I like that. <laughs> True. Library. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess we better get started, huh? That's it. <laughs> well, you know what? Now, you've, you've made a good point, Sarge, where, you know, you, you really don't need to write a book necessarily it would be great and i'd buy it obviously i'd buy a bunch of them uh but between the two of you you could you could go and 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 talk about these stories and you know yeah. they could you could you could make them uh through a, a linear storytelling you know from from one point to the next or you could just jump in on any point and mm -hmm. you know i think the real the real stories are between the matches like the real interesting stuff is bet behind the scenes the stuff right. that yeah. happens in real outside life, you know, yeah. exactly outside the ring. That's a, I wonder if there's a show called that dark yeah. side of the ring. Outside that's, the ring. That's a outside great side of the ring. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's the 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 series. Out, the other yeah. side of the ring. The Sarge story. Oh my God. There it is. Yeah. I'm just saying, I think it was and then we got Wayne playing Sarge Slaughter. Yep. 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 There Cube, you go. So yeah. Cue cards. We'll give him some cue cards, right? Who's going to oh, play yeah. Kelly? Who will play me? Oh, gosh. Um, who do you think? Ah. Be have, nice, guys. I, I was going to say Angelina Jolie, but, you know, if not, that's fine. Yeah. No, oh, I was going to go, yeah. I was going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. <laughs> yeah. She has to be smart, intelligent. That's right. Angelina. Like, do you know what? Like, yeah, it's, it's Angelina right. Jolie. Yeah. I'd say Anne Hathaway. It's the same with Anne Hathaway or... Sandra but Bullock. Angelina out of the Eternals, like I mean, come on. There's, I see there's yeah. resemblance now. now. Why don't you just play yourself? It's a yeah. shame you lost China because she had the. Yeah. You be you. You be you. you. Do what the Rock does and play yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. Totally. I'll, I'll tell you a, a quick story. Roddy Piper and I had uh, talked about having our own, uh, like a Broadway show. Right. Uh, yeah. Beyond yeah. Broadway to start with, but eventually like get to musical? Broadway. And we were going to have three acts. A musical? Not a musical. Oh, okay. Just, just uh, a play. Just a play. Okay. Yeah. Where we would open up and we'd have guests uh, every show, different guests and things. But we would start out every show with a little, you know, pantomime and an opening. And then we would close the curtains and we'd open it up and we'd be in, on the car seats. Right. That's a great idea. We'd be about things that happened and we'd have like on four. The road four seats where we had some passengers with us and we start talking about things that happened yeah, on the nice. and pass it around, you know, mm. and, and when that was done, close the curtains, open them up and we'd be on an airplane seat or yeah, on yeah. an airplane and tell the stories of what happened <laughs> on airplanes and all the things that crazy things that happened just on an airplane, and, you know, your you canceled flights. Or, and then mm. we were going to close it off. Uh, with a bar scene where we were sitting at a bar and you'd have some of your guys come on and tell stories. We're already at the bar. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Like, right. to be, to be a fly on the wall. Yeah, yeah. Stories that happen to, uh, to be a fly on the wall. Like, uh, to, like, just, like, be yeah. behind the scenes, a fly on the wall, and just, right. like, to hear, like, what you guys yeah. were, like, after, like, your matches like, yeah. like when you guys went to your barbecues, it's like it. That's like what we're interested in. We're interested right. in like, you know, because yes, it is a persona that you have to withhold like all the right. time. But like, you know, when you're not doing that, you're a dad, right? You know, right. you're a husband, and mm -hmm. they're like your two greatest roles. Mm -hmm. Like it yeah. is yeah. just a, it's a it's a it's a book that. It needs to happen, or that talk show. That'd be amazing. Oh, no, uh, a talk yeah, show for sure. sure. Mm. Yeah. The host, so we can, we, we can have Dad we, on and all of his yeah. friends and say, okay, forget the yep. side side. Do you remember that barbecue? Right. Mm. Uh, right. Yeah. I was like 10 years Just old. Everybody, everybody's got a story about something. <laughs> exactly. Right. We got some juicy ones. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> you could call it live the outside blood, the ring. Blood the beer. Yeah. Sex, rock and roll. Or oh, now you know it. <laughs> no, now you know. Know.
can't hide it. I mean, it just happens. That's part of the business. And you attract those people. I, I've met eight presidents. Mm-hmm. All set, uh, every one of them say they were they were my my number one fan. I said, wait a minute. Jimmy Carter said he was my number one fan. You met Jimmy Carter? Yeah, Jimmy Carter was the first president I met. And, of course, when I met uh, President Nixon, he said, I'm your number one fan. I said, well, Jimmy Carter said he was. What are you talking about? You know, I was just having fun with him. But but that's – and I met the Queen, queen and uh, King of England, uh, one of their, their youngest uh, grandsons. He was a huge wrestling fan. And he came to the wrestling matches. Are you talking about like Prince William? Yeah, Prince William. Yeah, I'm bad on I'm bad on names. I'm sorry, Prince William. He loved wrestling. He was he wanted to be a wrestler. He He's very into good. sports in general. I you could have hooked me up with a prince. I could have. <laughs> he, he, was, he was wearing a Hulk Hogan shirt. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all I'm thinking is, oh my god, you've met the queen. Like, you've been the bucky. Like, wow. I was like, I'm yeah. sorry, what? You could have. What? what you learned? Yeah. Did you forget you had a daughter yeah. who was his I age? I guess. I guess. I think he didn't want to, like, I didn't. I, I think what dad didn't want to have happen was the daughters fight over it. So he said, you know what? That's right. That's, That's what true. I'm going to do. You, because he knew, because my sister and I used to fight all the time, and I always won. So yeah. he knew I would win. Anyway. Yeah, I can believe that too, <laughs> Shelly. Yeah, <laughs> he was being a good dad. That's what I got out of that. Yeah, isn't that right, sir? <laughs> right. You know what he would do? Because, <laughs> yeah. You know, wrestlers are really celebrities in general. They don't really want to date fans, right? So I would be like, Dad, I really think. John Cena is really cute. Will you please introduce me to John Cena because he's right. just so hot, you know? <laughs> he was hot and he'd be like, sure, I will. Next time you come backstage, I'll introduce you. And then he would go get his autograph for me. And I'd be like, Dad, now he thinks I'm a fan. You just like ruined <laughs> it for me. <laughs> yeah. like, Dad knew what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. I was like, ooh, he's hot, Dad. Can you hook me up? And he'd be like, sure, here's his autograph. I'm like, I don't want an autograph. (laughs) Sabotage. He didn't want to hear what he was doing. I knew knew them. (laughs) He's like, yeah, no, no, let me me hook you up. Hang on a second. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm like, thanks, Dad, for this autograph. I have one back there if you want to see that. Yep. And I was like, Dad, I don't want it on. Now he thinks I'm a fan. He's not going to give you the time of day. And guess what? He didn't give you the time of day. Unbelievable. I think that's not because you were a fan, though. I think he was more scared of Dad. Maybe. Uh, Maybe. You know, there were a couple that were not scared of him. That's game. But I wasn't interested in them. Mm. <laughs> right. <laughs> I won't name any names. No, I didn't think I was going to get any names. Oh, that's why I went. So I was late, you know, like I was late. That's coming out in the podcast later. Yeah, that'll be in my and that'll be in the slaughter daughter house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She'll have her own slaughter daughter uh, penthouse thing. The Barbie. That's right. People come. The Barbie. People come knocking on your yeah, door, Kelly. Greenhouse. Greenhouse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll happily promote whatever you do, Kel, through my business, whatever whatever needs to get you get the name out there. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you very Always. much, Nick. Attention, maggots. Welcome to the Slaughterhouse. I'm Sergeant Slaughter. Make sure you tune in to be related to all the things that we do with Sergeant Slaughter. WWE, G.I. Joe, Action Force. Have I made myself clear? Good. Then keep watching, keep listening, tune in. And that's in order. Yo, Joe, full force. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment down below. Perfect.